Alrighty, so uh, today we're on a group ride and we've got uh, uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five spiders at the, on the group and we're uh, heading off to the bunnies. We're going to pick up another two up the, uh, the top of the bunnies, uh, which will be nice. It's a big rig. Yeah, it should be nice, nice day out. It's a bit windy at the moment in Toowoomba, so it's a bit cold. So the guys that have come from, uh, guys and gals, because we've got Danny who's come from down in Brizzy, they're feeling the cold a little bit. Um, and uh, so, yeah, it's a bit cool to start with. But, uh, yeah, we'll be fine. So we're going to head up that direction where I'm looking now, out onto the Bunya Mountains. So. Uh, we're hoping that the wind is not as bad up there because at hit the moment in Toowoomba uh, there's 40 kilometer an hour winds so it's a bit uh, a bit nasty but anyway we'll see how we go Whew. weather's nice apart from that wind we'll get rid of that It'll be a good day rolling through Kingsthorpe now and uh, we just about had our heads taken off by the wind coming uh, into Kingsthorpe. So it's going to be an interesting ride, this bit from Kingsthorpe to Hayden, because we've got a, a massive, massive uh, crosswind. See the trees there blowing in the uh, distance. It's uh, fairly going. Um, so I was expecting to get a bit better as we got west, but I think it's, um, I think it's being generated from the coast because Denny said that uh, she had rain at uh, Logan. Meanwhile, we've got you know, clear skies here, so I think there's a bit of a a bit of a coastal low, which is uh, pumping those easterlies at us. So hopefully, the further west we get, the better it'll be. But we'll soon see how it is. Everyone's grooving on the back, which is good. But uh, wow, that wind is just <laughs> hammering. Oh, flags are out today. They've got the Holden flags out, which is a bit of a pity because um, Holden stopped make producing cars. They're all Chevrolet now. And uh, today is Bathurst, so uh, might be why we've got a few less car enthusiasts. But, uh, yeah, I'll put a link to the Bathurst track uh, a bit later on. So we're just coming into uh, Gabungi. Uh, windy as hell, so I guess I'll put that there. There you go, it'll be a bit better sound. And um, yeah, it's been pretty windy through that little bit there from Kingsthorpe to Kambungi. And we're still heading north, so we're still going to get those crosswinds. A bit dry. Oh, she's dry. Need some rain. None inside either. So it's going to be a hot, dry summer. Not, not keen on that. Yes, Kambungi, great little town. Um, I keep threatening to come out here for a coffee with the group, but I haven't got out here yet. I might even make a quick dash out here one Saturday and see who wants to come for a ride for a coffee. Um, great little town to pull up in. Caravanners love it, motorcyclists, push bike riders, the whole lot love it. There's a couple of little shops and cafes. That one there is closed now, the Iron Man, which is a pity, it was okay. This one here is nice. To, the vintage cow, it's really nice. See the push bikes and stuff there. The blue trees for Dolly. Lovely little town, Gambungi. Alright, another laugh. Uh, head on to, uh, on to Hayden now, or Haddon. Depends which school you went to. And we'll, uh, We'll pull up there and uh, enjoy the lookout at Hayden, which will, is uh, 700 metres above sea level. So it's uh, starting to rise again. The Hayden lookout, just beautiful up here. Not as windy either up here, which is really nice. I always watch through here because uh, Mount times have come through here and there's been a roo. Must be a because they cross in certain spots, kangaroos. They're creatures of habit. And there's always a roo that pounces across in front of me here, but he's uh he's not showing his face today. 
Is that supposed to be windy at times? Alrighty, on to the next. So we've got a little bit of uh, road here which is uh, what I call single track. So it's only wide enough for one vehicle. And uh, I've just said to the guys before we took off, look, there's a bit of single, um, take your time, ride your own bike, ride at your pace. You know, if you don't feel comfy, just back off and take your time, you know. I'll we'll meet you at the end of this bit. There's a there's a turn at the end of it. So that's the, the thing to do is that everyone just rides their bike at their own pace. Um, and that's a, a smart thing to do rather than trying to keep up with the guys in front. So I've uh, got Dom and Del behind us who used to um, city road probably. Uh, and uh, there's two of them. So they're not going to sit on a hundred. Slow down, goats. Where's Michael Jordan? He's the goat. Greatest of all time. <laughs> uh, no, what? We'll see how we go. How dry it is where you've seen that there's uh, cattle been grazing on the side of the road or trucks or whatever. And yeah, she's. Uh, oh, gee, we need some rain. It's going to be a hot, dry summer. Not looking forward to that. So, uh, yeah, welcome to Australia, people, where she gets. Uh, the driest continent on earth so you know we've got to be careful with this stuff and try and conserve water but, uh, yeah our mate's ploughed up so he's hoping for some rain this week i don't know that you'll get any mate he's early you champion <laughs> i'm thinking oh i'm gonna have to wait about 15 minutes here for keith but he was he was early you are a champion keith you are an absolute champion mate Camera, Keith. Thanks, Keith. E. Good on you, Marty. Hey, don't pull, pull, pull. There we go. Andrew's on. Beauty. He's got an indicator on that, good. Don't know if he's turning, but he's got an indicator on. All right, we're off. Paranga. Um, it's only a tiny little place, Paranga, but uh, has some really unique little old buildings. I reckon that was a shop at one stage. Probably once upon a time, it was a thriving little community. Um, police station. Not sure it'd be that busy. <laughs> it's very dry like the rest of the countryside. Yeah. There's lots of little places here. I reckon were shops at stages. It's got a bowls pub. Well, you've got a bowls club, you've got something going on. That's the place I'd like to look at, the, the motoring engineers. That'd be the go. According to this, I go straight ahead. I nearly went right there one day, which would have taken me dirt. Oh yeah, that's the tunnel. That's the tunnel up that way. No. come in a little town now of Quinello. so uh, when you're planning a ride uh, for those that want to plan rides with them themselves or with a group um, always make sure that you plan a toilet stop because uh, gentlemen of a certain age have uh, have weak bladders so um, this one's our toilet stop although we need to go right to where we've got to go to the toilet is down to the left so um, we will go for a quick stop down there after this motorcycle goes he's going left beautiful now i've got to try and find this one where's that toilet Down there. 
Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it. Going a bit across country. <laughs> so there we are. Is everyone? It's Dom, Danny, Keith. That. All good. All right. So we pulled up at Quinlay for the old man stop for people to go for a leak. And uh, yeah, we've got uh, an extra bike on there. We've got Keith on there. We just picked him up before. And uh, yeah, we're on our way. Hot and dry. Very windy. Eventually, we're going up that big hill up there. Eventually. <laughs> so we've got a fair way to go and then we come back on ourselves back to there. Let's do it. Alrighty, so this is the, the Bunyas. And this is the bit that everyone wants to come to, especially the two-wheelers. Want to quickly grab up these things and grab a handful of throttle and go hard, but we're not going to do that. We're going to take our time. She's a pretty steep, pretty winding sort of road, so I also want to try and capture as many of the bikes behind as we can. We'll probably get mostly Dom. It'll just give a nice view back there for those. No use going hard because it's single lane and there's plenty of uh, cars coming. And you can see that the corners are got 20k an hour corners, and I'm just putting along at 40 at the moment. So it'll give you an idea what some of these corners are like. But uh, yeah, on a two wheeler, or even on a spider, if you want to go hard, but you'd want to know nothing was coming, and that's why this they slow is not so much the corner, what you can't see coming the other way. And the good caravan is coming through here and everything. They shouldn't be, but they do. So they take their caravans up to up to the top and away they go. Hopefully, hopefully those rear shots get some nice ones of the five bikes behind. Because Keith's at the back, he's getting some good footage from the back this time. Nice work, Keith. Car. <laughs> okay, from out of nowhere. Okay, this one's the really tight one. You can see she's a bend back. 20 k an hour corner. There was no trees here. You've got a lovely view of all these spiders coming up. But the trees block it, but the trees make the ride too. So yeah, if you're coming up to the bunnies, just be prepared to take your time up this last little bit. It's uh, it's beautiful. It's a bit dry at the moment. Normally you've got plenty of greenery and the sides of the road are green, lots of grass. Uh, you've got to watch out for wildlife. There's lots of wobblies around the place. It's coming up to my favourite bit of this ride because it's you come out of the trees and then all of a sudden you've got this open plain where they've uh, raped and pillaged it and uh, you can see where they've taken all the trees off the side and you can see a fair way up the road so slow up here so I can get a good shot of the guys behind me and same for the guys behind who have got cameras plenty of places to pull over if you're coming up to take photos and whatever um, have plenty of places meat safe there so that's where the workers would have kept their meat because in 
days of uh, making this road many many years ago had a safe to keep their meat in that's because uh, they would have built this stuff in the 1800s maybe early 19s before refrigeration was a thing lots of prickly pear the old uh, cactus can ruin a property out here Great view back down throughout the valley. Jesus, dry. A bit of bushfire down there too, actually. Woohoo! Bit of skip there. Bit of dodgy road. Yeah, here's the spit where the the occasional spit of water so it must be a little bit of moisture in that air it'll be 24 degrees beautiful day sometimes you come up here and it's so foggy you can't see so you've got to pick your days uh, we're up here in spring so we're early october uh, in 2023 so we we've got the, the nicest of the weather for sunshine but up here in winter it's just beautiful you got the fog fires going and fog and that sort of stuff and mist and yeah just beautiful so this is the first point you come to uh, it's a ranger station um, don't make the mistake of thinking oh yeah this is really lovely and you know go hard but no you've got plenty of road to go yet oh i hope that doesn't hit you too hard dom he said he's been bottoming out whoops Bit of bounce there, wasn't expecting that. Back into the trees again. So you've got a, a rainforest area here because we're climbing. I should have put the thing on, but I know we climbed about a thousand metres, so it's not real high, but for, for Australia, that's, for, that's a bit of a mountain because um, it's pretty flat, Australia. Our highest mountain's only. I think it's only 2,000 metres if that, it's only, it might even be 1,700 metres. Oh, look out scrub turkey. <laughs> hey mate. <laughs> Little scrub turkey, I don't know whether the camera picked it up because of the darkness. Oh shit. A couple of... It's getting hard to pick that up but... Um the shadows and stuff you can't pick up the ruts and bumps in the road anyhow we got it hopefully we're getting some nice pictures from behind on the camera little uh, places up in here that you can go bushwalking do all sorts of funky stuff oh geez i tell you, you can feel that temperature drop just drop the 21 so it dropped five degrees since the bottom of the of the hill so it's a bit cooler up here a windy bendy road for the next 900 meters so they've cleared a bit of this but sometimes you'll come through here and you'll get um it'll get some uh, little vines hang down and they'll whack in the head but not today there's the sun so yeah if you gotta keep your eye out for things there's some more vines here on the left hand side so yeah pays to actually come up here slow and just enjoy it and you can come up here and absolutely go nanas but there's no real point to that This is a great bit of work. There you go. Oh, the... so whilst that corner's not that flat strap, you sort of take your time because you just don't know what's coming around the corner and because of all the trees, you can't see. You can't see if there's, there's little wallabies or whether there's... Uh, you don't get big roos up here, you get wallabies. Not enough room for the big roos. They like the plain areas to be able to run hard. There will be big roos up here but not as many 
Look at that, you get scrub turkeys, people, cars, lots of little spots, picnic areas to stop at. Mountain bikers and all sorts up here today. Mate, that's just woohoo! Magic stuff. Here's the uh, big tower. Yeah, that's bloody big. <laughs> you can see that from way back where we came from earlier, about a half an hour ago. And now we're up on top. JS Fisher Lookout. We're going to stop at the lookout, get some Pikachu's. down here with these people lovely these my crew hey Bernie and Pete hey guys brought a few friends with me <laughs> Pete and Bernie up the front there, going well, they're going to take us down into the uh, poppies, which is awesome, been up here a bit before, I've been bothered putting gloves on, it's that short a distance, didn't we're only about a k ride and very slow. That's beautiful up here. First time I came up it was uh, very foggy and uh, you could see, uh, couldn't see in patches so but today it is crystal clear. There's all these houses up here. You can, you can hire a lot of these houses. Um, so runyourmountains.com.au I'll try and stick a little link down the bottom to it um, you can hire all these houses up here yeah, magic stuff there hopefully that picked it up it's beautiful the cook bar firefly drive not as many wallabies out today that'd be a bit warm from too morning Up we go to Poppies. And that folks is the Bunyas. And mind you, there's another cafe and restaurant just down to the left. 
and it's usually a bit more packed than poppies. It's a bit more up market. I thought this might be better today. Right up our alley. I mean, you'll love it. <laughs> yeah. Shoot through the bunny pines. There we go. And I'll get up here next to it. Oh, mate, I'll be good. Hopefully, we'll circle out of there. Feast of poppy. Man, that was beautiful food. Uh, all homemade stuff, pies and, and uh, burgers and things, but yeah, it was just beautiful food of poppies. Great view, good company, just the perfect thing. Now the, uh, the ride home, just as basically a, a sprint. Where we go? Hey folks, I must have waited at the spider. We'll get some this accommodation thing out on one day here, this would be great. Anyway, off to home. All right, all having fun. Oh, the wallaby just there. There it is, just there. The wallaby. The wobble. Uh, it's very brown. Wheat's ready to uh, knock the top of it, so that'll be happening soon. Oh, the harvest is out. It's pretty dry and dusty. Every man his dog will be sneezing. But, uh, yeah. Out in the middle of the uh, Darling Downs area, and that's uh, what they call the country. It's quite dry, dusty, no trees. The harvest and the wheat here, you can see how much dust coming off of those two over there, just flinging off. And there's the uh, collector. There. But, uh, that's what harvesting wheat looks like. Just uh, dusty, dry. Fling it all off. Oh, we're in drought. We're in trouble, aren't we? We're going to have a hot, dry summer. No rain. Man, it's going to kill the ground out here. 